Hi everyone, this week I'm going to be using the Penelope collection, including the very cute paper pack. I love all the tiny little prints in this pack. And the ribbons, here's just a mixture of them. And I'm also going to be using the Cupcake Mixums Dazzles. And I'm going to be making four small mini cards out of one card. And I'm going to show you how that works in just a second. But let me give you a close up on each of the cards first. So all the cards I've made have hearts on them because Valentine's is coming up. And I think the miniature size is perfect for uh, giving to your coworkers or friends or even putting on a little package of goodies. Um, but these do not have to be Valentine's. It could be birthday or anything else you think, can think of. Um, I love the cupcake theme just because I love sweets. <laughs> but I think that they are designed very adorably. So this first one I'm using a strip of these dazzles and since they come in three colors I can choose which color I want to use. And then on this cupcake I actually placed all of the dazzles onto white cardstock and then cut around the edge and then put it on foam tape on this card. This is the other horizontal one I made. I've got two strips of ribbon um, crisscrossing here and two cupcakes and then three little tiny hearts and all of these dazzles are lifted on foam tape. For my first vertical card I have a chocolate frosting cupcake. This is the simplest card I think to make um, but it does have a fun ribbon treatment where you just punch two holes in the top of your card and the ribbon goes around and out and it kind of makes a faux knot in the front, so that's really cute. And finally, this one. So this one has a bunch of striped patterns. This one's a scallop. This is actually one of my favorite patterns. It's this paper right here. And then on the dazzle sheets, I actually have some without the surrounding dazzles. Um, you can see there's a lot of extra little dots and things that you can put around your card so that's exactly what I did on this one. I've got a stripe of dots along the bottom and then hearts and little sparkles in between. And um, I like that the cards don't have any words on them because they just are cute by themselves and it makes them that much more versatile. So I'm going to actually demonstrate this card because I think that's one of the most involved. But I will also show you how to do this ribbon knot here. So let's get started. So you might have heard that you can get four full size covered cards from one 12 by 12 sheet of paper. But you might not have heard that you can actually get four mini cards from one sheet of the pre-scored cardstock. Now, the score is right down the middle here, but I'm actually not going to fold it. I'm going to cut it in half first, right along that score line, so it makes it really easy to, um, to see and to measure. Now that I've done that, I've got two 5 inch by 6 and a half inch pieces of cardstock. Now I'm going to cut each of these in half to make cardstock for all of my cards. Now that I've gotten my four equal sized pieces of cardstock, I'm going to start scoring them down the middle. And the way I score is to use the back of my knife here. And since these are five inches long, we'll go at the two and a half inch mark right about here. So I'm using the back of my knife and I'm not going to press very hard but I'm just going to run it along a couple times just lightly. Now the part that I scored I want to be on the inside of the card so I'm going to fold it this way. Alright so I've got my card blank and I'm going to do the same thing for all the other three. 
So the first thing I'm going to do to my card blank to make this card is to cover it with the floral paper. And if you've seen my previous videos, what I do for covering cards is to apply glue stick to the card front, place it on the corner of the piece of paper that you want to cover it with, on the back side, so not the pattern side, and then using your ruler and your craft knife here, I like to use this pen knife because it retracts, line your ruler up with the edge of the card and then just cut along the ruler there. I'm going to turn it so I can cut it more easily. And then same thing with this angle. Oops. Missed a little part. And now you've got your card perfectly covered with the paper. Next I'm going to cut this green gingham paper to an inch wide and long enough to go along the bottom of the card, so the long side. I'm going to cut a little bit extra just in case. And I can actually line it up with the card to see how much I should cut. Now before I glue this across the bottom of the card, I want to ink the edge of it with Timber Brown Stays On. So one little tip about this ink pad is it's got this plastic inner liner. I actually stuck that to the top lid with Zots so that I didn't have to take off two lids every time. So that's just a little handy tip. Now I'm going to take my cosmetic sponge and just dab it on the ink pad and swipe it lightly along the top of my green gingham strip. Looks pretty good to me. So next step is to glue it down to the card. And I'm going to make sure that the inked part is facing up towards the uh, fold of the card. Now I've got a little bit of excess, but it's the simplest thing to just trim that off. Better to have too much than too little. Next I'm just going to go ahead and ink the whole rest of the edge of the card. Just really quickly. I love the definition that just doing this small little step gives to the whole card. Plus the timber brown kind of goes with the whole chocolate cupcake theme. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Next step. Next I'm going to add some narrow grosgrain ribbon across the bottom kind of in an X form and I'm going to use zips to stick them down but first I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and measure about how much I need and then just give a tiny bit extra and trim the end and now I'm going to use my zips. I've been using them a lot lately but they're really handy and I'm just going to cut off about that much. So it's like about an inch and a quarter. Then I'm going to trim that in half. And I'm actually not going to use the zips all the, all the way along my card. The zips are about an eighth of an inch wide and so is this ribbon so it's going to be pretty exact. That's why I'm actually using it on the ribbon first and I'm only going to stick down this much of the end to the card. That's another way you can um, conserve your zips is to actually just use 
them on the ends of the ribbon rather than the whole thing. So I want to actually put it right about there. And then my other piece, I'm going to stick down the other end. See how I stuck it right onto the Zips backing paper? Now I'm going to peel that backing paper off carefully and then stretch out my ribbon to make sure it's straight and just press down. Now that one looks like it's pretty exact, but I'm just trimming off the ends. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the pink one and sticking that end down and trimming off the excess. Just cleaning up the edges there. All right, now I think we're ready for our cupcakes. So I've just got a small piece of white cardstock here to be the base of my dazzles. But I'm going to use these three Mixums Dazzles, and they're really fun to use. So I'm going to start with the silver. Let's see, this one right here. So I'm actually going to use the silver base of this cupcake. And I always like to peel off my stickers with my craft knife. Oops. And just put it in on the cardstock with plenty of room around it because it's going to be cut out at the end. Then I'm going to add my frosting. These bigger ones I don't need to use a knife on. It's more useful for the smaller ones. It's looking yummier. Alright, now I'm going to add a brown flower, so go to the same exact cupcake, get that little daisy, and put it in its place. It's kind of like working with a puzzle. It's really fun, actually. Now, these little dots are the ones that I really need my knife for, because they're so tiny. And so we're adding some chocolate sprinkles on this lovely cupcake. Okay, last one. Now I'm going to make my chocolate cupcake. So I'll take the base of this one right here, start building that up, and each of these colors has a different finish, so the um, they might act a little differently, like the silver pearl finish is a little bit stiffer and kind of thicker, um, so they might pop off more readily. The Pink holographic material is very thin and sticky, so just to be a little more careful when you're peeling that off. Now I'm looking for this little piece, this little bling, to add some shine right in there. Alright, now I'm done building my cupcakes. Now I'm going to take my craft scissors with a short blade and cut around them leaving about a sixteenth inch border give or take a little bit to give them that nice white matting okay now that I've got them both cut out oh looks like I forgot the middle of the daisy here let's see right up here I'm going to fill that in with pink and then be complete. Alright, so the next step 
is to do the hearts. I've actually gotten the opposite um, cupcakes from this, if you see them side by side. They're facing opposite directions, but that's because I used these from the same set of mix -em Dazzles. So that's a good thing to note is you get uh, repeated designs on here. So you're getting four large cupcakes, four medium cupcakes, and also there's some mini cupcakes as well. So you're getting a lot of cupcakes per sheet and you multiply that one sheet by three and there's tons and tons of different combinations you can do with all the colors. So that's a fun aspect. So I'm actually going to place three hearts on the cardstock and cut them out and then I'm going to apply them to the card with foam tape. Okay, so I've already applied my foam tape to the back of these so they're ready to stick on. I'm going to do my cherry cupcake first, put it about right there, this one can go there, and then my three hearts. I'm going to place my large heart kind of in the center over here, and then the pink one below it, and the silver above and I'm done. So the insides I just left blank just because it's a small card. You could even put to and from on the inside and just a short greeting and you can give these alone. You can give them with some chocolate, some cupcakes or even some like a cupcake making kit. That would be really cute. Um, there's tons of different ideas. I'm sure you could come up with a delicious uh, looking gift. So anyway, that's the first card. Now let me show you how to do this ribbon tie. So I actually you I'm going to use this blank card just because it might be easier for you to see. But I've used this aqua sheer swirl ribbon and I also used this 1 8 inch circle punch. And uh, you can use a regular size punch but I like the 1 8 inch because the holes are smaller so you can't see kind of through the holes as much. So I'm going to make two punches near the top of my card. I would say about a quarter inch in. So one there and maybe about a half inch apart depending on where you would like your bow. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to angle my ribbon a little bit more sharply so it's easier to thread. So first step is I'm going to go in through the front on the left hole. Pulling it through. Now I'm going to pull about four inches through the hole. Then come out through the right, pull all the way, then you're going to go back in on the left, it's basically repeating what I just did, but this one's a little bit more tricky because you have to hold the existing ribbon out of the way so you can get through there again, and then finally back out the right side. Okay, so that completes the little ribbon lesson. Basically you just trim the uh, ends at an angle and you'll get this look. And that's with no glue used or zips or zots. Um, so that's just another option for ribbon embellishing. So I just wanted to review with you the cards that I didn't demonstrate. This one is just um, covering the card with the pink dot, then covering the bottom with a strip of this tile paper, then just applying my cupcake dazzles and doing the top treatment, and don't forget to ink the edge brown. Then the other card I have 
I covered it with the green gingham, glued a strip of this aqua lace paper across the middle. Then I used this lovely circle border along the top and bottom of that aqua strip. And I added three little cupcakes here and a heart on these two corners. And then I did the same technique with the foam tape and the white cardstock as I did on this one to, to do this vanilla cupcake. And adding a bow at the bottom attached with zots. So that one's pretty easy to do. Now for this last one, I actually uh, covered the background with the pink dot. Then I took this scallop paper and I can show you where the scallops actually match up. So I actually cut along this word scallop and along this, the bottom of this gingham scallop. And I glued them to the top and to the bottom to leave that nice wide scallop with a pink dot there. And then I just simply arranged my Dazzle Cupcake and placed my hearts and dots and zutted on that cute little aqua ribbon to finish this card. So that's it for this episode of Simply Anne. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to click on the savings bundle. Um, there's the Penelope paper pack in it. There's the ribbons and the Cupcake Dazzles. So it's actually a really great way to get some of the newest hot off the press items all at once and at a great savings. So join me again next week for another fun project. Thanks for watching.